mic not even on. Yo, yo. All right, what's going on, people? We got a video that's a long time coming. This video, um, for some reason, is a controversial topic ever since I made this one video um, about anime rock, paper, scissors, part two in particular, because I had an issue with the, um, the art style. Let's design the look for rock, paper, scissors, too. Create this character model. Yeah, these are cartoons. These are, these are, these are literally cartoons. It's not anime. For me, in my personal opinion, I just think that it just did not fit the aesthetic. So ever since this entire, ever since I said what I said, there's been um, pushback. That means that I don't just have people agreeing with me just because I say I'm a professional artist. Challenge me. I like the fact that you guys are challenging me. I like the fact that you guys are saying that, hey, I call bullshit on that. It allows me to do educational videos like this to show you guys the differences and it creates content for me. So disagree with me. I fucking love it. I'm not, I'm not opposed to that shit. So yeah, I'm gonna go over um, a couple things and I could really end this video in five minutes, but five minutes or less. But since I want to make content out of this, I'm going to make this longer than 10 minutes. I'm gonna break down stuff and I'm gonna get real in depth on what the differences that you probably won't even realize that you don't notice what makes anime anime and what makes cartoons cartoons it is going to get a little bit on the realms of cultural differences because let's just face it anime is made from japanese people which have a cultural difference in what they believe in and what they do what they emphasize stuff on and americans are different too when it comes to their cultural differences when it comes to what they believe cartoons should be and how cartoons should look. So it's automatically gonna be a difference right there. That's just a red flag right there. So so you know what, I'm gonna stop fucking talking. Let's get into this and I'm gonna show you guys some examples and explain the differences of some highly well-known cartoons in general and some highly well-known animes and compare the differences on the art styles. And let's get educated in this. Okay, so I got a blank canvas right here and I'm gonna use this canvas basically to show you guys differences. That way I can draw over it and I can basically show you guys the differences between certain animes and certain cartoons. That way you guys would get it. So the first thing I'm gonna bring up is exhibit A. Castlevania is another show that people will automatically classify as an anime strictly because they say it is an anime. It's not an anime. And let me show you guys the differences too. What Americans do when it comes to their um, art and when it comes to trying to imitate the Japanese style is that they still have these elongated faces. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Okay, so let me go in here. I'm going to draw a circle. That's a fucked up circle, but whatever. We got a circle like that. We got the ears right there. And we're going to go all the way down here. With the chin just like that. And we're going to use the same thing for the female. And that's the difference between animes and cartoons. Is that animes use different faces for male and female. It's elongated. And the difference is too. Let me show you guys with this. Both of them are female. I think both of them are female from the show. But it's going to be the same thing when I draw a bell for it too though. So this is how the face looks right here. The faces are already longer. And let me show you the difference between a cartoon and an anime. So let me get this out of here. Let me bring up an actual, like an actual anime. Bam. Okay, we got our two exhibits right here, right? What's the difference between this one right here? Both of these are animes. So what's the difference between the top row and the bottom row? What's the difference that you can see? Let me give you time. How Americans render art in anime, especially when it comes to the influences too. Let's just keep it a buck. Japanese art focuses on beauty. They focus on beauty, the beauty of the character. Every character in a Japanese anime, especially their main characters, is especially their main characters, is focused on beauty. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go to the culture route when it comes to this too, to explain this a little bit better. That's why Japanese characters tend to get prettier while American characters tend to get uglier. We literally have a cultural difference when it comes to how we do cartoons in general. Cartoons or anime, whatever. You could just call anime Japanese cartoons. That's basically what they are. Japanese people think differently than how American people think. That's just how it is. That's why comparing these two are literally ridiculous. You cannot compare the two. They are completely different for how the characters look because all characters in anime are emphasized off beauty. Americans are completely different. They don't emphasize off beauty. Matter of fact, they find it offensive over here when they do and they use sexualizations, all that bullshit. There are thousands of skins available to choose from. Finally, one that looks like mine. Uh, hey! Notice how every single Japanese game that comes out compared to an American game, their characters look different. You just know a Japanese game compared to an American game just by looking at it because they emphasize, they have, they always have good looking characters. Americans don't. Uh, hey! 
We actually think it is offensive over here to have good looking characters, and especially good looking women. We don't equate the two. It's just not the same. So yeah, I don't even know why I'm doing this video to tell you the truth. This video is so pointless, but well, like it's so pointless for me because it's so easy for me to figure out. But the thing is, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit too about what's the fucking difference because there's a huge difference. And let me show you guys another thing too. The one cartoon that does animate perfectly this is gonna be something that you don't even that you probably don't even realize it's the boondocks it's the fucking boondocks the boondocks does anime superbly superbly and you know why they do it superbly too because they got a japanese um studio doing the artwork and doing the animation for it that's why it looks the way it looks the boondocks to me always had one of the best looking um cartoon slash animes out there for this show was originally a web a webtoon comic that became an anime so the art style looks superbly japanese and i love it okay so what sparked this whole controversy to begin with was anime rock paper scissors so let's bring up exhibit a this is from the first one this is the style from the first one right does it look like anime it does it kind of looks like anime does it look like it could be made by americans it does too it got a little both and that's because both of the influences are there but mainly because the person who the ai is trying to render is american so it kind of the features are going to be there the strong jawline right there to where it comes down all the way right here that's going to be there this jawline so that's the only reason that gives it the little bit look of american culture in it let's look at what they use as reference for the ai machine to actually out how to make it look this style let's bring up vampire hunter bloodlust and look at this style to show you the difference this is the style that the ai is trying to replicate in the in part one does it look like it it looks like it in the hair the hair is shaded exactly like how it looks in here so that's the part that looks the same what doesn't look the same bring that motherfucker up what doesn't look the same is the facial structure is you got this triangle shape going on here it's literally a triangle and i could give you other examples of the show too that shows the same triangle structure the only difference and that's the reason why i said part one looks like more anime compared to part two is because the only difference between part one and part two on what makes it look like an anime less or more is because this guy has a facial structure that is not catered to the japanese anime but the overall look looks just like this let's look at exhibit b exhibit b is this this is from part two off rip i'm gonna just ask you guys just right now does this look like anime i know it doesn't it doesn't of course of course it doesn't i'm not making fun of the artist it's the ai that trying to replicate the style and because the, the characters facial structure automatically don't look japanese or anything like japanese it's automatically going to make it worse in the art style that's already american to begin with so it's not going to translate it well let me show you guys the difference okay i'm gonna bring up another character of vampire hunter too so you got your first male character that i showed you in vampire hunter right you see the difference between the facial structure and, and the look in general. For me, this is simple to break down because it's, it's just common sense. So I have to think of the best way to explain this shit to you guys for you guys to understand what I'm seeing right now. The facial structure is different. Everything looks different. It's just not the same. And when I say that the lines are too thick on here, look at this shit right here. It looks like a computer fucking drew it. When a computer draws stuff, it doesn't have that sharp edge kind of like this. Look, but the lines on this one right here looks just like this. It's a boring line. It's a boring ass line compared to looking like this. There's a difference. There's a fucking difference. And you might think it's weird that I'm judging a line. To me, lines make lines are so important on how you draw your lines. It is so obvious. Look at the lines right here. You see how it's fading away right there and fading away right there. And it's going to a point. You don't get that over here at all. You don't get that whatsoever. All these lines end with a hard edge, just like that. That's the first indication that I looked at to make me realize, oh, that's jarring to me. This is called an anime. No, it's not an anime. It's not. And it's down to the lines. That's why I said, the. let's go to exhibit one again. Let's look at this. Look at the lines compared to this other one. Look at the damn lines. They're not the same. This is more anime over here than this one is over here. And I'm just sticking strictly on the art part right here. I'm not talking about cultural differences or none of that shit, right? I know this is like, um, this is kind of a weird subject to break down because I really don't know how to fully break it down because I'm just an artist. This is just shit that I know. But the best way I can break it down with is the fact that, okay, let's just use exhibit A and exhibit B, okay? 
the reason why anime looks different the reason why anime looks different and i'm gonna get cultural with this shit too if i got any japanese people watching me right now i'm pretty sure that they'll um break it down e even further for me because they actually live there and they actually are, are a part of the culture and I, i'm not i just study it but the thing is i'm pretty sure that they'll agree with me on this what's the difference between a japanese classroom in real life compared to anime difference one looks like a fucking rainbow and the other one doesn't simple as that why is that why is that it goes all down to the culture in japanese anime they envision themselves differently in a cartoon than they do in real life because everything is so conformed and everything is so you know structured let's say i bet you they dream about becoming different or looking different or having different hair if you see everybody with the same type of hair and this is what happens when you have a one a society that's dominated by one particular race when you have people that are just like you all around the board that they have the same black hair as you that have the same build that have the same facial structure eye look all that type of stuff like that i believe anime is a sense of escapism for japanese people that's why in anime all these characters look highly unique because they dream of being that way because it looks that way it's a, it's not a one-to-one. -one. And that's why Americans get it fucked up when they look at anime and they like, bro, I can't. Well, I just want to go over to Japan because I can meet my wife from over there. Yeah, yeah, they're beautiful Japanese women. Don't be fooled. It's not like anime. It's, it's not going to look like this. That's the reason why their shit looks differently from us. There's a huge fucking difference. It, it's down to the line work. It's down to the cultural differences. And it's down to the beauty standards that's held in Japan. As far as in America... The beauty standards are completely different versus over there. We have feminism, quote unquote. We got all this shit to where we try to uglify our characters over here because we think it's sexualization of females in general. They don't have that shit going on over there. So it's a difference when it comes to why shit looks different. That's all I got, really. I really can't break it down further than that. I think I think that's enough. It should be enough. If you guys want further information, I know this video was so fucking disconjointed, but you know, this is the best I got. But that's how hard it is for me to explain something this simple when it comes to what's the differences between anime and cartoons. It's so simple that it's so hard for me to explain. But I hope I at least gave some light on what the differences are or on why I had a problem with the second one compared to the first one. I hope I'm making sense there. But if you guys want to, um, you know, challenge me on this, fine. We can have a discussion about it. I would love to have a discussion on this even further. And if you guys want more information or if you guys disagree with me, please let me know. But until then, I hope this did what I set out to do at least. If it didn't, fuck it. See you guys on the next one. Uh, hey!